Hey, I'm Jess. One thing I really like when people recommend a book to me is if they kind of go, it's a little bit weird or it's a little offbeat. And listen, I am always, always here for a book that's a little offbeat. Frankly, that's what I like. And so today's book is called Sourdough by Robin Sloan. And yeah, yeah, it's a little bit offbeat, but in the best sweetly silly possible way. So Robin Sloan also wrote Mr. Penumbria's 24 hour bookstore, which is another book that I just really grabbed onto. And what I love about both of these books is that his characters like life. Um, that doesn't sound like that should be such an unusual thing, but think about the last time you read a fiction book that had a character in it who was upbeat and positive and enjoyed learning things and was doing things because, because they're pulled to do them. I think so often we're left with kind of sad sacks or people who are in awful situations. And instead we get Lois, who is a software engineer, codes all day, really doesn't have a lot of interaction with people, except for these two brothers that deliver her food every night from a local diner. And she's obsessed with the bread, it's so good. And she's going about her days and then one day, she finds out that they closed and they left and everything's gone, except they left her some of the starter and they go feed it play it music, learn to bake with it. And what, <laughs> like what, what is she supposed to do with that? And this book is her dealing with that and all the places it leads. It is not a long read, but it is one that just really packs a punch. Um, Robin Sloan is really good at tossing in things that make you think, things that make you question. Um, there's always a lot of lines in here that kind of give me pause. In fact, I'll share a couple with you right now. Here's a thing I believe about people my age. We are the children of Hogwarts and more than anything, we just want to be sorted. <laughs> and if I think about all the little quizzes I've taken, I think that's probably true. It's always new and astonishing when it's yours. Thus, the problem was perhaps the point. The internet always proving that you're not quite as special as you suspected. And one of my favorites, I wanted a place to break things and that place was my Merrow Fair. This is going to be really a fun, offbeat, odd romp. And I think if you are into books like me that are just a little bit out there, Sourdough by Robin Sloan is gonna be one that you enjoy.